board uh, in this video i will be uh, discussing about the basic environment that the cloud swim framework simulates uh, for you and uh, this this particular environment will be more specific to the examples which are given in this particular package that is that is org.cloudburst.cloudsim.examples and there are around uh, eight examples and please uh, uh, you can neglect this particular thing because this i created for for my own sake when i was working on my research problem uh, and uh, whatever i am going to uh, tell you right now is just a very basic thing a very basic uh, cloud environment that this particular cloud sim uh, uh, simulates for uh, any any task right and i believe uh, and that uh, uh, once you go through the series of videos which I, which i have uploaded on uh, this uh, playlist of uh, superwits academy that, uh, that is cloud computing playlist uh, you will be able to at least start working on your implementation work for your research right so the basic idea for the this series of videos is the same that you spend less time on understanding uh, cloud sim on your own just to give you a reference at how you can start what uh, all these set of classes work which are provided in this sources folder and how this cloud sim uh, uh, package work what this cloudlet class do and how, how the uh, this uh, cloud sim core package work and how these um, classes are more important than the mentioned uh, than the classes mentioned with uh, in other packages right so before we get into the details first we need to understand that what kind of uh, model does this uh, particular cloud sim give or simulates for you so i start with a very small thing now whenever you start uh, your uh, particular cloud sim folder and go on uh, this particular example as uh, we've seen in this particular package that is org cloud bus cloud sim example now this particular example cloud sim example one uh, basically uh, is simulating the process where you gen uh, where you create one data center which has one host and uh, which uh, run one cloudlet cloudlet here means a particular task now whenever you try and execute this particular this particular example the cloud sim framework do do following things so uh, the very first thing which this cloud sim mod, uh, framework mod, um, tool does for you is this particular entity is created which is named as cis and the full form is cloud information service uh, this is basically a, a kind of registry which contains the resources that are available on the cloud now, if you talk about the resources uh, of uh, the cloud, they are basically the data center and uh, each data center will have some host and each host may have some set of virtual machines, right? So basically the CIS takes care about the registry of the data center. So the next step, which is uh, here is to create a data center and uh, which is required to be registered once it is created and this registration process will be done with the cis that is cloud information service so you created a data center now this data center must be having some characteristics right so this is what you specify in your example the characteristics now those characteristics are basically for your hosts right so each data center may have some host so let's say as per example one you have one host in your data center right and this particular host will have some kind of uh, hardware configuration and this hardware configuration can be uh, process number of processing elements it may be one it may be two it may be three right 
then there must be some RAM it may be uh, you can specify any 512 MB 1 GB 2 GB so these are again specified in MB so this will be 1024 this will be 2048 MBs right there will be some bandwidth right which is applicable over here right so there are a number of characteristics which this host must have now because this cloud environment works on the virtualization which actually differs it from other uh, technologies of uh, uh, the distributed computing parallel computing or the grids so this virtualization specifically says that this this host will be virtualized into number of virtual machines right so as per your example there is only one virtual machine but there might be uh, some set of virtual machines on this uh, on this particular host right so there is a data center data center has some host host has some virtual machines right now these virtual machines will again have these particular parameters right so overall you just need to register your data center with this particular cis as per the cloud sim framework right now once you are done with this you are supposed to have some kind of broker which will submit tasks to this particular data center so, right so some broker is created by your uh, uh, cloud sim framework now this broker is basically what this broker is basically a data center broker class right which is responsible for submitting the task to this particular data center now this broker is basically an entity which at the initial state talks to CIS and retrieves the resource information which are registered with the CIS so we have registered the data center uh, with the CIS so data center bro uh, broker will have uh, the details of the characteristics what the data center have so we can say the information which is passed on to this is data center characteristics right now once data center broker has some uh, characteristics and it has uh, some tasks which is here in cloud sim framework is named as cloudlet okay i must write it clearly so let's create this and cloudlet right so there may be one cloudlet there may be set of cloudlets right so these set of cloudlets will be submitted to broker and once the broker has the details of the data centers this directly interacts with the data center and assign these cloudlets to some of the vms which are running on this on this host so let's say we have two cloudlets so c1 will be allocated to this c2 will be allocated to this this is the basic framework or the basic model which your cloud sim frame, um, simulation tool provides you now along with this this cloud sim simulation tool takes care about a lot of different behaviors which is uh, you know uh, connected to all these different components so i call them components whereas in the uh, cloud sim environment they are named as entities so this is entity this is an entity this is an entity that means the data center cis and broker are the entities we will be we will be talking about these entities in very much details in next video but right now you just need to keep in mind that cis broker and data center these three things are the entities now this particular framework or this particular model works on various kind of policies right now you can uh, uh submit more than one task to a virtual machine right but the overall processing which is to be done is on the physical machine so these are only the virtual setups they are not the actual machines they are sharing the host uh resources so all the resources which are available on host will be app uh, will be provided to the vms uh let's name them vm1 and vm2 on the basis of the policies right so vm uh, scheduler policies so there are three different kind of policies that are provided in this particular framework one is uh, vm allocation 
policy one is VM scheduler policy and after that one is cloudlet scheduler policy so this will be used by hosts to allocate virtual machines right uh, sorry this will be used by uh, I made a mistake here a small oh, oh this will be used by a data center right this will be used by host so that whenever the processing is to be done for your virtual machine uh, they they will be used by host and this will be used by, for the processing of cloudlets on virtual machines right so all the policies are either time shared or space shared so they are the very basic concepts that if time share is there though then uh, uh, a specific time will be allocated to each of the end uh, each of the entity uh, here we have vm and then vm will have their equal share of time whereas in this a space uh, shared that w very first the vm1 will be allocated then vm2 will be allocated the uh, resources and so on so these are the basic policies which are governed in this particular scenario right whereas there are a few more things which are applicable here like how how the bandwidth will be provisioned how will how the uh, processing element will be provisioned and so so many other things so all those things are already available in this particular framework and there are some bunch of uh, different uh, uh, packages here right so if uh, if you talk about this so we have uh, for provision we have uh, this provisioner package for taking care of the scheduling uh, we have uh, this particular package uh, that is cloud sim here we have cloudlet scheduler dynamic workload space shared time shared and uh, uh, here we have vm scheduler scheduler space shared vm scheduler time shared and we have some allocation policies uh, over here and uh, uh, i think they are provided in uh, uh, mm, i missed out uh, they are they are also provided here Th that is vm allocation policy and uh, that this is the vm uh, allocation policy simple so there are a number of uh, different set of classes which are provided here and they produce the specific behavior which is desired by this uh, particular simulation model right so there are a number of things which are available in classes so right now i uh, must stop here because this is the basic model which we have uh, for our framework tool and this is how the whole thing is generated the the whole framework model is based on this create cis register data center uh, objects to this and data center will hold the hosts there may be more than one host and each host will have its own uh, data uh, it, its own hardware characteristics associated with them then create virtual machines inside them then create one broker and create set of uh, cloudlets and those cloudlets will be submitted to broker and broker will further execute them on the uh, available physical resources either through uh, not either it, through the virtualization process right so this is what we have